talk about the LK Balance Fund. You're about 60-30 invested in stocks and bonds. Is that the right allocation for the environment we're in? It's, it's an interesting environment. We look at the stock market performing well. We know, in theory, interest rates will start rising soon. I keep mentioning <laughs> that, but eventually that should happen. So when do you change that allocation shift, if you do at all? Yeah, we, in general, we try not to change the allocation shift much. Um, you know, history has shown that a 60-40 kind of stock bond allocation has worked very well. Uh, we like to keep it around that. It's been very difficult to hold bonds in the current environment. Uh, interest rates are low. There's not a lot of return there. Um, but, you know, often the best place to be is where it's the least pleasant to be. And so we're trying to, to maintain, a, uh, maintain our bond holdings at about a 30% level. We've let the stocks rise. Um, we've, we've followed the market up. Uh, that has, has been where the opportunities have been, and so we've benefited from that. Um, but it has been difficult, and hopefully interest rates will turn around and we'll get more of a return on, our, on the bond part of the portfolio going forward. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting couple of months for sure. In terms of stocks, biggest sector holdings, industrials, is that a play on a growing economy? It is. Um, we do think that the economy is probably better than most people think it is. Uh, it looks like numbers are turning, everything looks good. Um, and so industrials, you know, in addition to which, they, they just benefit not only from a growing economy, but from being easy for us to understand. We like things we can understand understand and you know they, they tend to make things and since you know, they're easier to understand than a lot of the tech things Invest out there. Invest in what you know. We've exactly. Heard some famous investors. Well, what are your top holdings is Chicago Bridge and Iron. Okay, I can figure out what that is. But it lost about a quarter of its value this year. Yep. It's had good numbers though. I mean earnings, revenue growth have been picking up. So what turns the stock around? What turned the stock around negative was a, a, a short seller report that came out uh, roughly a month ago now. Uh, that, you know, we basically said they had some fraudulent accounting going on. Uh, they did an acquisition of uh, Shaw Industries back in 2012, and he was, he was questioning the, the way they accounted for that and how that's affecting their current numbers. Um, we've owned it since 08, 09. Um, Long-term believers in what they're doing. They're you know, a great engineering construction firm uh, and playing mostly in the energy industry.